Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Thursday the 9th of August 2018 and today we're here on the Silken Way which we talked about in the previous video. That way is the Tether Town Park and the Visitor Centre but we're not going to go that way. That path there leads you over a hill uh, into Mallinsley and it's part of the uh, National Cycle Network Route 55 but we're not going to go that way I have this little signpost here which confirms what I just said about Mallinsley being that way but what I'm instead going to do is walk this way a little bit now as established in a previous video I'll talk a bit about uh, this very path, part of the Silken Way. In front of us is the local rugby squad grounds. But we're not going to repeat the route I did last time. We're just going to establish where we are. So there we are. We're not going to go all the way that way. What we're instead going to do is go this way this is a, another one of those paths nature trails and whatever that I've not been along before I've never been this way I know others will have done and this is a, something some people will already know but this is new to me The weather today at the moment is uh, sunny, but uh, cloudy and rather cool. The past few weeks, days and weeks, it was blistering hot. Uncomfortable both day and night. Uh, it's good that the temperatures dropped quite a lot. Pretty cool. Still pleasant weather to be out and about. But the uh, temperature is actually quite acceptable. It's all pretty dandy. Actually quite enjoyable, so. These steps are a bit of a bugger, I'll be honest with you. Right then, where are we at the moment? Nice little peaceful spot. Let's explore around this way. There is dual seating, obviously. Recycled train buffers. Uh, there's a few of these uh, train buffers recycled to become seating around here. I think I like the idea of these things being used as what we are. True meaning of what recycling should be and should look like. Oh, a nice bit of a gap in the thingy, in the shrubbery. And I've done of how well you can see it, but that big 
brick structure over there is Sturchley chimney. So uh, it's not that far away, but to see it so clearly from this vantage point indicates how massive the thing is. So yeah, important bit of historical landmark that is. Let's carry on. And in a moment we'll be joining the path properly. Where there's gaps in the hedgerow, just like where, there's some really beautiful sights going on. Okay, what's going on here? Now let's check up this way first. But first of all, let's remember this little landmark. Going back this way in a few minutes. That looks like the uh, Lugwee ground again. More steps. And this little spot here, nice little secluded area, but open enough to I'd imagine this kind of spot, just like a size stone, would be popular for college age kids or or anyone of any age really, just group of adults coming here with a crate of beer with a mate or a bottle of whiskey, a couple of bottles of whiskey or vodka or whatever having a few I bit having a bit of a camp out in the uh, summer night evenings quite peaceful of course if you're so inclined to do that and you do actually do it around here take your litter home with you remember you're not the only one who wants to use this space and seeks to enjoy it other people will be wanting to enjoy it as well so don't spoil the fun for everyone so if you do stuff and you produce litter because of it by all means do stuff you've got the freedom and the right to do it but just if you're going to produce litter as a result take the litter home with you and put it in a bin please let everyone enjoy the space equally Okay, here we are. So yeah, this brings us out to the uh, rugby field. And that path takes us back to where we were a minute ago at the uh, Tevil Town Park Visitor Centre. So yeah. Let's head back up this way and explore the other direction. So we're back here and uh, we've just done that way. We've come from that way. Well, at some point we're going to swing back and explore the direction we didn't go. Right for later. In the meantime, we're going to go this way. As we're walking along to either side of the path, 
you'll notice various flowers and fl other plants which go on to support local wildlife from insects to caterpillars and butterflies to various species of bird I think uh, in another part of a town park one information sign said you even see a uh, Pogan falcons around here so I don't know if we'll see any today or if we do I don't know if the uh, camera will be able to pick them up but depending on what time of day you're coming here along and depending on how observant you are uh, you can potentially see all kinds of wildlife coming along here so like I said before I've never explored this way before so this is new to me I'm guessing this path eventually leads back to the uh, rugby ground but yeah. So we're uh, here now. Uh, only this way goes back to Malin's Lee. Let's explore this way first. I can see a few houses in front of me, so this will probably maybe be the shortest route, quickest route to explore. And here we are. Malinsley. That way takes you toward Telford Town Centre and the South Water Development. And uh, each of these paths here take you further into Malinsley. This is Malinsley after all. But we're not going to go any of these ways. We're going to go back this way. Let's uh, go up here for a moment. Very nice. We're going to return to the nature trail and see where it takes us. Okay, here we are. Right, we came from that way and it takes us back to the uh, Telford Town Centre, the visitor centre and the play areas. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to come this way. Gonna, uh, See where it takes us. is on tight.
Another signpost. Back into Mallinsley. And, yep. Let's keep on going this way for a bit. Let's see where it takes us. I'd imagine being around here is potentially at its most beautiful, you know, it's sunrise or soon after. Yes, it's peaceful now because it seems to be relatively well away from all the business of the Telford Town Centre, but I guess there would be an extra serene atmosphere about being here early in the morning. What does this say? Hollywell Pit Mound, Heathland Habitat. The Pit Mound is an example of lowland dry heathland, which is an important wildlife habitat and much in decline locally and regionally due to housing development and burning. Within the pockets of heathland in Shropshire, this is one of the only places in the county that you will find bilberry and cowberry growing together. Bilberry, also known locally as windberry, is the main food plant for caterpillars of a green hair streak butterfly. And, uh, what is that one? Cowberry is much a rarer plant and only known in two sites in Shropshire. This is one of them. The fruits are collected and made into jams and juice. It has a high vitamin C content. Birds attracted to this habitat include skylarks, greenfinches and goldfinches. Grass snakes and lizards move through the heathland grasses. Both like to bask in the morning sun and this is often the best opportunity to see them. In 2013, a project to increase the area of heathland in the area began. The project involves careful monitoring to control scrub and grass, such as bracken, gorse and rhododendron in the area. Once the heather is established in the longer term, a regime of cut and collect will be introduced to rejuvenate its growth. The expansion of a thriving heathland will benefit many species, including butterflies, such as Dingy skippers and green hair streaks. Cool. Shame about the goddamn graffiti on that sign, but let's explore a bit further. Right, the path has come out to this area here. We're not going to go that way because there's something right in front of us that's taken my interest. Okay, we're here. According to the signpost, to the right in this direction is Dorley. Hang about. Yeah, that way is Dorley. But that way is the continuation of the nature pool and Hinkshay pool. Okay. Uh, let's go this way because I think I know where this leads to, but I'm not sure. We'll soon see. All right, so here we are. End of path. This is Dory. Yeah, I think I know where we are now, so 
that way should eventually lead you into, take you into Dolly Down Town Centre. Well, that way takes you back to Telford Town Park. But we're not going to go that way. No, we're going to go that way. We're going to go back this way. Uh, I don't know where that goes to. Another part of Dorley, no doubt. Um, but we're not going to go into Dorley today. We're going to go back this way. Now it's uh first time I ever went to Dorley was about four years ago because around that time I made a friend who lived in Dorley at the time and I used to go and visit my friend at their house and because of that it inspired me to explore parts of Telford I'd never been to before so I've been around in the past four years Explored Dolly a bit and yeah Oh here, okay here is where we've come from and um, we'll eventually if we were to go back that way We'll eventually go back to Mullinsley Telford Town Centre and the Visitors Centre in Telford Town Park But we're not gonna go that way We're gonna go this way And uh Let's see if this takes us to somewhere I better recognise. No, no, where we are. Horsies! Horsey, horsey, horsies! But seriously now, uh... Right, so that way takes us back into Dorley. And what we're doing here is coming over here. This is the road we were on on a previous video. Hang on a minute. So that way takes us to Hinkshay Pool. And this road we were on here. This is part of another video I did a while ago. Uh, titled Telford Walk, Walk from Telford to Dorley where I walked from Telford Town Centre Visitor, well, from Telford Town Park, all the way to Dorley along this road. In front of us is Dorley, and back this way is Telford Town Park. Yeah, so uh, the path we've just walked so far, that nature trail, links into two separate videos. My previous video about the Silken Way, where I took us past the rugby ground, and my previous video, as I just talked about, where I made a video along this road from Tevra Town Park in that direction, all the way down to Dorley in that direction. And as you can see, they're building new houses along here, which is all pretty good and interesting. Uh, I'm not going to record that path all over again instead we're going to instead we're going to skip ahead to the next section so see you in a minute or two all right so we're just walking along further along the path now and just going to show you the view and there we can see Sturchley chimney all over again much better view of it from here i guess and just overall a nice beautiful view over in general Anyway, we're going to continue on and skip on a bit further along this path here. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay, to connect to my previous video, we're here. And that path there takes us back down the Silken Way, which I talked about in my previous video. And on the Silken Way, you can go as far as Sturchley, Brookside, Maidley and Ironbridge. And along the way, you can see the Sturchley and Dorley train station which I spoke about in a previous video so yeah if you go further if you check my 
video playlist far back enough you'll see the video about the train station platform I mean to say I'm a silken way and then yeah silken way itself oh time to skip on to the next se uh, section see you in a minute so here we are at the entrance on my way to Telford Town Park back here again disc golf course and that way goes into Telford Town Park but we're not going to go that way instead we're going to go this way and there's a bit of a shortcut because I want to connect back up to something to a spot we were at earlier and here's a stone row again yeah, but no, we're going to go back this way. Okay, the path we've just come along has the rugby ground behind us. And a couple of paths in front of us. This path here leads up the steps we were at earlier on and back toward the nature reserve, the nature walk we just explored. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. Okay, we're now back at the beginning where we started this video with Telford Town Park and the visitor centre right in front of us. And we're now at the bottom of the same set of stairs we climbed at the start of this video. And we're going to climb them again. So I'll see you at the, I'll see you at the top of the steps. So here we are. We've already explored that way, so now we're going to explore that way. Where's that path gone? You know, like I say, we've explored that way. We've come from that way. So let's go this way. You know, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm really glad I've made the effort with this video and I'm really glad I've made with, made the effort with the other videos I've been making the past four months. Yeah, I've, my channel has existed for four months now and yes, I'm fully aware that some videos are not as good as others uh, and the biggest reason why is sometimes I find it, find it difficult to keep what I'm saying concise and to the point so I know that problem I am working on it I'm trying to get better so yeah it's just an ongoing learning experience so, uh, I do appreciate everyone bearing with me and having the patience to see me improve and any support a lot to that effect, I appreciate. I think I know where we are now, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, so I know where we are now. These steps that came down in my previous video. That way leads to Malins Lee. That way, in my previous video, I mentioned and said I did not know where it goes to. Now I know where it goes to because this video was an exploration. And I enjoyed doing it. And this way, well, you know this way. It's all the way back to Telford Town Park. So yeah, Telford Town Park. On that note, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And take care of yourselves. Be safe. And have a good day. Goodbye.